This is heaven. It's inventory department. Jim speaking. Not going to help you. Not again. Oh, don't give me that attitude, mister. This is Karen from Springfield. I need to speak with God. We have been through this, ma'am. God has not taken a direct call since Moses. You can leave a message. Although, frankly, I'm not even sure how you got this connection. Or might I suggest prayer? Don't you get snarky with me, young man. Wow, snarky. I'm older than you. That's really pejorative. All right, don't you go using your Mexican words with me. This is America. Speak American. I was speaking American. English. I was speaking English. And you know what? I'm not even in America. I'm in Colum. Oh, great. Another Indian call center. Just what I needed. Transfer me to God, please. Thank you. <laughs> no, no can do. Now, why are you calling to complain this time? Because you call every week to complain about something, Karen. So is it taxes or is it traffic? You know, remember back in 2014 when you called to complain about Obama's tan suit? Because that warrants a call to God. What's pissing you off this time, Karen? It's 2020. Excuse me? It has been a horrible year. And I want to know what he's going to do about it. Okay, first of all, how do you even know God is a he? You've seen the pictures in church? Anyway, this year started with the Democrats trying to impeach our dear, dear leader, Donald Trump. And then the Chinese people ate bat soup and gave us all the COVIDs. I've been cooped up homeschooling my six babies. Oh my God, you reproduced. And there's murder hornets, Saharan dust storms, black people marching about willy-nilly chanting Black Lives Matter, scaring the bejesus out of my 88% white cul-de-sac. Honestly, it feels like end times. If I'm gonna get swept up in the rapture, I need to know so I can say goodbye to the sinners. Okay, I can personally guarantee that you will not be raptured. Good to know what's not happening. That's not what I said, but okay. It's just, it's total hell here on earth. Black people and hippies marching here and there. I can't say boo to a person of color without some little twerp uploading it to Twitter. I mean, I gotta make up my face every day just in case I'm gonna be on blast. Ugh, my husband lost his job because apparently the Confederate flag stands for racism and not Southern values. It's kind of synonymous. Ugh. Honestly, I thought it was a sin. And every time I try to go into a store without a mask, I'm the evil one. I mean, is God gonna fix this or what? Hold on. Karen from Springfield. Uh, daughters of the American Confederacy? Yes, obviously. Kid rock tattoo in a not so nice area? All right, you don't gotta get all judgy on me. Okay. Um. Can you just give me like 48 hours and then I'm sure you'll have all your questions answered? Absolutely. That is perfectly reasonable. And thank you. Thank you for your help. Oh, and young man, will you tell me, is the afterlife just wonderful? You know, I really think you're going to enjoy it because there's so many people just like-minded to your point of view and it's warm and toasty all the time where you're going. Let me get my tan on. All right. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for your service and have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Karen, don't get too tan. Uh, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't. 48 hours. Okay. I'll talk to you then. Right. Yeah, you'll find out in about 28 hours, actually, Karen, because... You're going to die when the sex harness breaks on your swing. Really, humans, your last word should never be your safe word. Hello, everybody. It's Amanda. Did you like that sketch? Because there's 29 more where that came from on Amazon Prime. Finally, an n and special. Amazon Prime. Link in bio. I think that's all you need. Really, humans... Your last word should never be your safe word. Hump or dink? Did you hump or dink?